to the first edition of Rugby FL News TV. In this edition, we're going to go and have an overview of what goes on in rugby in Florida across all divisions. So you get an understanding of the general picture of rugby in Florida. I'm going to start with the college woman. This year, we're going to have five teams competing in Division 1, two of them moving up from Division 2, who are FIU and USF. Along with FSU, UCF, and UF, they're going to be playing for Division 1 starting on October 24th. It's going to be a nice tournament to watch as it's going to be most likely pretty close among the teams. I have a short interview of the FIU's coach, Trevor Alfred, that I'm going to show right now. Congratulations on your past two seasons. You guys have really put Florida on the map, going to the finals. Uh, what is it looking like this year with you guys moving up to D1? That's a big step, I guess. You are pretty excited about that. Yes, I am pretty excited. It is a big step. Uh, the girls have been working for the past few years to get to this point. Now that we have a little bit more university support, we are, we are looking forward to the challenges of playing Division I teams like Florida State and University of Florida, which we've played before, but we played them from the Division II level, and we were victorious against them, and I guess that's why we were moved up to Division I when they realized that we can now compete on the level of those larger universities. So, a prediction. Will we see boys and girls at the finals of this year? We will see the men's and women's teams <laughs> from FIU <laughs> representing Florida representing rugby at the national championships wherever they may be whatever coast they may be on. Let's hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir On the other hand, we have three uh, College women teams Eckerd, FAU and FGCU who are going to be playing Division 2 throughout the season starting in January the 30th on the boys side of college we have the Florida teams playing under three different conferences so the first one we're going to look at is the CERC the South Independent Rugby Conference this year it's going to be FIU UCF USF and FSU it does seem to be a very competitive tournament as the four teams have prepared well for this year's season uh, UCF has been for the past three years the champions made it twice the national title and last year they lost in the final at the last minute so that is of course the front runner but as I said the other three teams have been preparing very hard and I think it's going to be a very nice tournament to be watching then we have the NSCRO, which is the National Small College Rugby Organization these are division three and four teams that it is going to be integrated by Ave Maria, Eker, FAU, UNF, and FGCU. Finally, uh, we have UF playing in the SCRC, the Southeastern Collegiate Rugby Conference. That's a Division I tournament, and they play against teams from neighboring states. Yeah, good luck to them also. We, we are going to be following all these championships on Rugby FL. You will get the results on Saturday and the standings. Finally, UM has been left out this year from any of these conferences. So they will be playing mostly friendly matches. I do want to show you a little recruiting video that we did for FIU. As for the women, senior women, this year we're going to have a Division 2 championship between four teams up from three from last year as Indian River is, is joining with Fort Miami, Jacksonville and Orlando. Last year's uh, champion was Fort Miami and this championship starts January 30th. Finally, for the men's, senior men, in Florida, we have eight Division II teams and eight Division III teams. 
the Division two, two teams are Miami, Jacksonville, Trident, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, Naples and Tampa. Last year's champion was Orlando who played Fort Lauderdale in the final. On the D3 side we have also eight teams which are Sarasota, Daytona, Brevard, Gainesville, Pelicans, Indian River, Palm Beach and Tallahassee. Last year's champion was Gainesville who played the final with Palm Beach. As something new for this year uh, we have we're gonna have the Florida Cup that is gonna be comprised of the D2 and D3 teams in four different groups two teams from each division that play each other and the semi-finals and finals are gonna be played at all Florida Day that this year is gonna have a different format this this traditional tournament that takes place this year November 7th and 8th is going to be hosted by the Sarasota Rugby Club and it is also going to carry uh, college games, women's, maybe some youth. It's going to be a very big rugby day for all of us. I think this is a great idea to have this like warm-up tournament for all teams so they get their players real game time and prepare for the, for the leagues. We also have the Orange Cup, which is basically the B-side teams of the Division II clubs, which are going to be playing for the second time uh, championship of, of its own. And we have a new team joining, which is always great news, Okapi Wanderers. They're going to be playing in the Orange Cup. And this sort of follows the same schedule as the men's Division II. So that is pretty much everything about men, women and college. As for the high school and younger kids, uh, we don't have a schedule yet, but, mo but the high school division had 16 teams last year in four groups. Uh, high school has been growing in the past couple of years and teams seems to be, seems to be uh, establishing themselves in a nicely way. We also have been seeing a lot of growth in the youth teams under 14 and younger mostly in South Florida but hopefully that will be growing around the state as that is the future of rugby so we'll get more on that soon and hopefully we can make this a weekly encounter every Sunday that that other plans to have a little rugby show and hopefully uh, we have the support of all of you Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.